I'm Tash and I'm the lead colour specialist at Lick. I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour of my London flat and sort of show you guys where I got my inspiration from, a bit of the home decor, so come take a look. So because this is actually a studio, I had to be really creative and sort of really maximise the sort of space. So when it came to sort of fine tuning the interiors and the colours I wanted to go for, I found that when I created the mood board for this space, it really lended itself to being a bit more maximalist. I needed to choose a colour for the walls because I'm normally very gravitated to sort of quite bright colours. But I ended up choosing our Pink 01, which is our lightest pink, because I needed this room to feel light, but also feel like it's sort of hugging you and it's, and it's still very sort of intimate and that we could really sort of maximise the light that the space sort of lent us. This is actually my favourite area of the house because we were first time buyers when we bought this property a couple of years ago. So we were on a bit of a budget when it came to decorating. And actually I designed this table and made it myself. These three scaffolding boards that I think we bought off eBay for like, I think they were 10 pounds a board. It was meant to be a temporary table but we love it. We then found these old school cinema chairs and they've just really lifted this space. And also when we can, we have lots of people around and we have dinner parties. So yeah, this is like my favorite little area. So I recently just decorated our little entrance hall, which I really wanted to show you because this was the sort of perfect example of if you've got a smaller space in your home, by going for a bold colour that you wouldn't normally use in your main living space, but using it in these smaller spaces, it gives them a personality, it makes them these little special areas of the home, and these are like the perfect place to be a bit more bold and to just sort of be a bit more adventurous. I think it's so important that people decorate their homes because your home is your happy place. We also spend so much more time at home at the moment and I would really encourage people to decorate and make it a space where you wanna be, you wanna hang out during the whole day and in evenings as well. So I would really encourage people to decorate their home and to express themselves and to just go with their own style. So before I started to choose the colours and the sort of furnishings for this space, I did a physical mood board, which I'm going to run through how you should do this. If you don't want to do a physical one, you can do one digitally. Great place to do that is on Pinterest. But I'm going to show you how to do a physical one because it's a great way for you to get all your inspiration together and give you the confidence to sort of start your decorating. The first thing that I would do is get all of the supplies that you need. So I would start with getting a bank of magazines. This can be anything from a home magazine to a food magazine to a lifestyle magazine. Maybe don't pick them all in the same month so you get a bit of variation. Then I would get together some fabric swatches of just pieces of fabrics that you love and want to use in your space. Then I would find a board. You could use a piece of white cardboard is normally what I recommend. And then finally, just get your lick samples. Choose probably about six to eight colors per room so that you can get a good variation and then you can sort of fine tune when it comes to finding your sort of perfect style. The first step that we're gonna do is grab your magazines. And what you wanna do is you wanna find inspirational imagery that you love and that you're drawn to. So you might love a rug or you might like a carpet. And I would just cut it out and literally put it to one side. Don't worry about trying to find your style. You will naturally be choosing things subconsciously which you love and you want your home to look like. So once you've got your pile of images, I would go through them all and just find your hero image that you were most drawn to. And once you find that image, this one was mine, then put it to one side and we're gonna work from that to start off with. 
Once you've found your hero image, what you want to do is you want to put it in the middle of your board and just really look and see what colours you're most drawn to and why you love this image so much. And then get your paint samples and just look at choosing a palette on the walls that you want to go with this. So now that you've chosen your hero image and you've got the colours that you want to put on your walls, it is all down to layering. So my biggest tip with this is to not stick anything down. And I'm not being too precious because I want to move things around. I want to experiment. And just, it's all about texture. It's all about sort of having a play around and just seeing what you love and what works. What I've done here is I've chosen three of our lick samples. And what we'll do is we'll choose a dominant color, which is going to be my blue 01. And then my subdominant, which is going to be this lovely green 07 and then you want an accent colour. And that's actually going to come through one of my soft furnishings. So once you feel happy with the sort of design that you're looking to go for, then all you need to do is stick it down. Also, another trick that I do is I take a photo of it because this is a great thing to refer back to if you're shopping or away somewhere and you see something that you love, you can refer back to your board and then you're like, okay, yeah, this works. This would be perfect for the space. And it just means that you can sort of stay on style and also it means you can just sort of stay within your budget. But this is just a great way for you to sort of look at your style, see what you're drawn to and have the confidence to just start decorating.